Welcome back to Third Age Total War, the Elves of Linden, as we move on to part two of our many great battles. As we have Gandhi in here, attack Captain Jamak, I guess is how you pronounce it, or something. Regardless, go kill them. Kill them all. Alright, alacrity now, okay. Alright, so Captain Jamak here has a lot of archers on hand, it looks like. He has a lot of light infantry, too, of course. Almost all of, um, uh, all of Umbar, rather, is comprised of light infantry, so that's not really a concern. Also, you need a doctor, Gandhi, and you really do. Alright, start the deployment. Hello, hello, steep hillside. That, that's... that works for me. Alright, let's see. First off, we need to get you guys into reserve, because you're not much use in your weakened state. Alright. The Elder Winwee Archers. The Sindar Archers. And... Hilary Archers. We'll put on the other flank, since it's higher up on the hill, and they are shorter range anyway. So we might as well give them the advantage of being able to shoot farther. Alright, now... Let's see. Cinder Guards, Cinder Spearmen. I'm just gonna... Oop, uh, 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 you got mixed in in the cavalry, which recovered most of their forces, if you noticed, last battle. I didn't notice that until, uh, until after the fact. Our General's Bodyguards, here, and... Infantry here, and where did I put the last one? Oh, there they are, okay. So they're safe. Start the battle. And why are the- why is the enemy spread on one gigantic line? What? <laughs> Alright, I have to rearrange this anyway. I didn't- I just realized I didn't really think this one through. Oh, let's do this. Okay. Now we'll do this. Then we'll kind of put this on a refused flank here to end the line somehow. Raiders, raiders, archers. What is this unit? If I can find what this unit is, I'm gonna have the cavalry attack it first. You know, I'm gonna just have the cav I just have the cavalry roll up the enemy line. Lots of archers here. Lots and lots of archers. Hmm. Good thing they're all very weak. There's the bulk of the inf enemy infantry. It's on the, it's on our left. Yeah, it's Umbar War Guards, so can't face it. So the cavalry's actually in a very bad spot. So let's move them. Sadly, I have to move them uphill if I'm going to have to have to give if they're going to have them be useful at all. You know, hit that archer guard. Why don't you? You Teleri archers, you. You guys fall back behind the line. You guys fall back too, actually. Now keep the Teleri archers where they are, for now. Hello? Hello, Corsair Raiders. If 
we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Cavalry, head out that way now. Now we're clearly going to have to start moving the line a bit. Stop your spear wall formation. Hello, archers. What the hell are you doing? No, what am I doing? I want to do this. Whoa! What the hell? Ugh, I didn't double click that. Now it just threw me off. Alright, you guys go out to the Corsair Pikemen, actually. You guys go down here, down to these other Pikemen. Archers, there you are. Alright, let's get them shooting these raiders down here. Okay, we routed that group. No, I want you to target these archers. There's only 18 of these left? Okay, they're being shot by the Elder Winwe, I guess. Because I haven't really given them much in the way of specific orders. Let's get those Corsair raiders. They have lost half their men. Hmm. Enemies on our flank there. So let's hit the war guard with arrows. Since they are exposed to the archers anyway. Crap, do I have these guys riding into one with my archer fire again? I think I do. So I'll have them target that unit for now. This infantry unit's getting battered too. Is there anything else they can shoot? No, I'll just have them reform for now. They can fire at will afterwards. Oh, the enemy just broke and ran. Okay. So I'm going to continue the battle, and we'll catch up uh, afterwards. This is a clear victory. All right, clear victory. I didn't recover much of those casualties, did we? Granted, our casualties were relatively light across the board anyway, except for that one swordsman unit. So, no complaints here, I think. Also, gained some experience. I'm happy about that. Ransom? Nope, can't afford it. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm taking a little too much joy out of hanging and stabbing all these people, but you know, you know, un un you know, unnecess unnecessary amounts of joy is uh, something I do. He feels appreciated. He can tell a tale. He's a confident attacker. He's also a proven commander now. As you notice, he gained a third command star at the end there. If you looked closely, I mean. Um, 
Alright, so let's, uh, let's save again. Because we have yet another fight to get into. Van Afendon versus Hashim and Musab. Just in case, though, I'm going to end the recording for half a second. Just so that I have the full recording available of that last battle. Just in case we get a crash. So, because, you know, again, we're going to be facing about 6,000 people on a field with, you know, with like 1,500 on my side. So, just to avoid that problem again. Okay, let's try this. Okay, let's try this. Van Affendon, to the road! Take it for the elves. Mar lay march. Lay march! I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing that. Alright. You ready to go? Possibly. Okay, so, yeah. It's gonna be over 7,000 men on the field again. I'm sure that won't end badly. Let's go! Benafendon! Kill! Let's see what kind of position we start in. Oh, look, it's all green. Bit of a bit of an error there, I think. I would I would call it an error anyway. It's technically not one. It's just it's functionally how it is. Okay, so I'm gonna stick all the archers behind the main line, right? Alright, now we have to get the main line set up here. There's a Linden Long Spears. Not exactly the best unit to take along, you know, into... You know, into a far-flung country since they can't replenish easily. You know, I suppose the same goes for the Mithlon Nobles, though they are a lot more survivable, by comparison. Um, alright, let's see. This line is slightly crooked, isn't it? It's like one of those things where you... It's like a moment... It's like one of those things where you look at a clock on the wall and you notice that it's crooked and you keep trying to fix it. Alright. Um, alright, let's do Swordsman and Spearman here. Right. Now let's get these two Spearmen and put them here. It's a little bit of a long line. I should probably maneuver it slightly closer. There we go. And then these last two units, the Swordsman and Vanafendon himself, shall be in reserve. I should alter the archer line here. Okay. Now I'll put these two in reserve. They should be in a single line. There we go. And start the battle. Bringing in reinforcements. Come closer. Closer. I will not bite much. Okay, I kind of will. If you consider arrows biting. Love nibbles? I don't know. What is the enemy doing? Are they advancing, or are they just kind of putzing around there? Because if they're putzing around, I'm totally... I'm gonna have the, um... Totally. I'm definitely gonna have the, um... The Teleri Riders ride in and... Do something about it. They're putzing about. They've all turned around. I think they're... Trying to enter a f proper battle line and... Wait me out. Well, he can't have that. Cavalry, bait them in! I have no idea if I'm targeting two separate units or not, so... We'll find out! Now we are! I think. I don't know. We're all spread out. Right, get back, cavalry. You've already taken casualties because they decided to start shooting. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Smash the enemy, I say. Smash! Smashing! Okay. Are they still pulling back? Usually that kind of behavior, like, baits them into attacking. Does this mean they've actually fixed the AI from doing stupid crap all the time? Because 
That's probably- that's, that's, that's technically a positive thing. Doesn't really help me this fight, but technically a positive thing. And if that's the case, then I'm going to have to, uh... Start maneuvering around them. It's gonna be somewhat annoying because it's very hard to make fine. Like, it's very hard to fine tune uh, battle lines. You know when you're on the move. Just stick them there. You know, we'll figure it all out, hopefully, before we get killed. Put them on the road now. Yes, now we'll, uh, now we'll sextuple time it. I mean, technically it's just speeding up time, but... Anyway! Uh, oh, damn it, screen rotates so I'm not looking straight at the enemy armies, please. Thank you. Jeez. Gonna have the cavalry pursue those archers. It looks like they're gonna try to con conglomerate into one giant force, which is very bad. I, I'm actually rather surprised they're behaving that intelligently. I mean, I think we saw a few moments in the uh, in the Sylvan Elves playthrough, after all, where uh, I took well, I took very good advantage of the um, of the AI stupidity to. Oh, oh, what's this? Is this everything seemed to shift in the minimap? Does it mean everything's mo marching toward me now? Like it might be. Ah! Ha, ha, ha. Flee from before my forces! Flee! I should probably flee before their forces. Victory will be ours. Whoa, what, is the, what are these cavalrymen doing? They're just... What the hell? Okay. I'm gonna pull the cavalry back again. I'm gonna have them hide in these woods. Okay, let's see how badly I finagled this line here. Okay, it's not too... Mangled, I should say, not finagled. Finagled doesn't even make sense in that context. But, alright, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. I could have done better, of course, but... Tighten up the Eldar Winwee a bit. Spread these out a bit more and correct their facing. Calories winded now. It's not too bad, though. Okay, let's shoot Castamere's Rangers, because they're actually dangerous. Compared to everything else I've been facing so far. Oh, the Linden Lone Spears don't have a spear wall formation? That's just silly.
Okay, the first groups of Corsair infantry are on their way up now. Okay, we're really slaughtering the rangers, at least. Hmm? What are these archers doing besides running right up to my main line? Clearly the center of their formation is somewhere far enough away that the Linden Longspears are staying concealed, though, so... Logic! Ever. Now let's bring the cavalry back out again. Because we need to break up these archer formations. They're only inflicting light casualties, but you know, we need to... Shouldn't have... You know, we should avoid taking as too many casualties at the same time. In fact, I'm going to stop all my archers from firing from now, from shooting from now. Because I need them to save their arrows for the main enemy groups. Come on, break Castamir's rangers here. We will smash the enemy. Break them. I'm ta I'm I'm absorbing these casualties because I just I don't want them shooting anymore. Alright, charge after them now. Cause there's only a handful of the enemy left anyway. Yeah. More casualties from attacking a bunch of rangers than I would have thought, but okay, whatever. Hmm? Oh, we're being shot at from the main line, are we? What's the enemy infantry doing besides putzing about? Come on. You want to fight? Come and get it. Looks like the enemy's trying to catch us out of position. So, I shall redeploy all my... I shall redeploy. So, let me find all the correct units. With the various positions. I'm probably messing up their positioning, like always. Actually, let's have them go after different units. Okay. Reduce it to one time speed again. Oh, I think I hear horses dying, so... Okay, I didn't do too bad. Let's redeploy again. Or rather, uh, let's uh, fix up the formation. Archers here. Horsemen. 
to the in once more onto the breach again. That's kind of what that means. Well, I didn't really ask for your opinion. It's not an opinion. That's what once more onto the breach means. It means once again attack. Anyway. Still not getting my archers to shoot because the enemy infantry is still hanging back again. Oh crap, they're targeting my cavalry. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Losing horses, but I am winning, so I can't, uh, so I don't really want to let up. I want to break as many of these archer units as possible. My horses will definitely have to retire after this, though. Definitely will have to retire from the field after this. Because they are exhausted. Ah, hello, enemy infantry. Took you long enough to show up. Let's get the cavalry out of there. We're down to 40 on each of them. Haha, you made it out. Good job. Alright. Now it's time! Archers! Hit them all. Hit them with arrows. Well, shoot them with arrows. You know, just, just kill them. Just kill them. Let's not worry about semantics anymore. Just kill them all. Okay, let's get them on the savages. Let's get the right flank archers on these pikemen. And let's get the left flank archers on these Belargare swordmasters. Whoa. Forgot there were swordmasters in this army. Well, one of these armies. All right. Hmm. Here they come. Get, get ready. Yeah, this battle took a long time to reach this point because the enemy was behaving somewhat intelligently for once. Oh, I think I see where these forces need to go. Here. Because they're wrapping around that flank. Alright, let's run. Let's get into position quicker than that, guys. Come on, alacrity, alacrity. The other group of swordmasters is down there. Actually, let's reform them here and then hit the swordmasters. In our favor, victory will be ours. Aho! Linden Longspears versus Corsair Pikemen. I bet this will end better for us than it will for them. I hope. I really hope. Okay, hit the Swordmasters now.
The new archers hit. Hit those ar hit No, actually, hit those raiders. Gosh, there's so many enemies. But we are elves! And elves do not falter in the face of such challenges. No, we, fr we thrive in the face of them. You can barely see what's going on. There's so much going on right now. Please don't crash. Please don't crash, game. Oh, it looks like these inadvertently got engaged in melee. The hell aren't they supposed to be shooting the Velagare Swordmasters? Why are there no casualties among them? Alright, the archers are going to have to join in the fight here. Just no choice in the matter. Meanwhile, the horsemen will go up here. Ah, they're completely enveloping us. We're slaughtering them, but they're enveloping us, and that's, uh... Still a tactical disadvantage. It'll be at a lot less noticeable one. Simply by virtue of the fact that we are so much stronger. I'm gonna lose a lot of Sindar archers, though. That much is certain. Right, we need to hit these units with the cavalry. We have no choice. Force Hello, Corsair Raiders. Guess who's charging you? Yes! Aha! It's one of the enemy generals down. The Eldar Rinwe are charging you. Yes, it was Captain Musab, though. So it was the second army that we uh, just killed the commander of. Now we're doing casual 16 to 63. Excellent. Right, let's back off. Back off. Back off. You can't face the sword masters. Oh crap. I'm losing cavalry. Oh crap. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off means run. I find it hilarious when I actually double click. It doesn't, you know, they don't run. Okay, let's, uh, come Alright, let's... Let's get organized here, guys. Let the Swordmasters do their thing for a little bit. Alright, what do we got going here? Alright, the enemies... Large numbers of the enemies broke... Have uh, broken now. Let us see. Yes! The other one is dead! What was his name? Kasim or Ka Kasim or something? Yeah. Hashim. Hashim. These Cinder Archers for units that are supposedly not so robust in, uh... Not so robust in melee combat are doing a pretty good job, aren't they? I mean, they've taken pretty heavy casualties, comparatively speaking, but... Alright, let's hit the Swordmasters. Again, with the cavalry. I don't think we'll break them, because they have much higher morale, but... Oh, that was, uh... That whoa, heavy casualties. Heavy casualties. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Away with ye. No. 
No! Why are you not running? Why do I keep double clicking and they're not running? That's very aggravating. Okay, so I just slaughtered my men. Though I did kill a lot of the Swordmasters, all told. All things considered. Putting consideration into all the things. Now, I need to get my three units to count to counter. I need to get three of these units to counter the swords ma sword masters. So let's do that now. Right, let's go. Oh, where'd the other Elder Windway go? Oh, there they are. Here's the enemies trying to, uh... I don't know what the enemy's trying to do, actually. But they're failing! Ha 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 ha! The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down! Okay, one enemy force is broken. And surprisingly, it's not this one. The one with the Belagir so Belagir 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 Belagir. Okay. You need to find active archer units because those are the primary problem right now. this. Oh, they're just corpses. It looked like it was that weird bug with the Enidwyth troops that kept, you know, like, standing upright when they were killed. Behold oh, alright. I will continue the battle for a bit. Actually, no. I'll end the battle just in case. The enemy are utterly vanquished. Yes! This is a great victory. I kind of want to... Only the mightiest of generals. You shut up. I kind of, I kind of wanted to continue the battle to kind of run down the rest of the enemy. Um, you know, and, and prevent them from re from withdrawing. But I kind of figured that actually it's probably a smart idea to stop now because of uh, the potential for crashes again. Um, all right, we covered a decent number of casualties among all those we took. Uh, the riders got about fifty percent of the cas taking casualties back. So, all right, we're still in good tactical shape with Vanafendon. All right, come on, let's go. Okay. Ransom? Nope. Because they thought. Wait, that army just got wiped out completely. That's funky. Funny. Freaky. Whatever. Excellent work, Vanafendon. Foul-mouthed now. He's foul-mouthed. All right, so I think this is a good point to end the video. Um, you know, uh, next, uh, stay tuned for part three, where we attack this enemy, you know, this enemy um, noble here, and you know, probably, probably take Khaldun. Depends on how extensive the fighting is here. And uh, did I say thanks for watching? I think I did. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time as the invasion of Umbar continues.